Hey girls, hey, I wanted to share with you guys in this video here just a little bit about, real quickly, how to do sales tickets, how to fill out sales tickets, and kind of what I bring to my individual consultations um, as far as my money bag goes. So, um, first of all, in my money bag, I'm going to have in here um, customer profile cards, which look like this. Um, customer profiles, uh, you get several of them in your starter kit. I also, um, of course, have a calculator. I have a couple of extra pens. I have um, a card with the Pam Shaw hotline on it for the career surveys. Um, I have a couple CDs, like just in case somebody would, I think somebody would rather have a, um, watch a CD. I have in here also, of course, sales tickets. Um, so that is something that I have in my, um, in my uh, money bag. And also I have this really awesome pro pay jack, which I'll explain in a little bit. Um, so what I do is when I get to the individual consultation, of course, take out a sales ticket, go through the, the questions, which is a different training, and I just fill in um, her name. So you can see this. I fill in her name. I fill in um, the hostess name so I remember who she is, which might go in here. Okay, and then I also fill in the date of the party. I also fill in how she's going to pay for it. Um, but I don't fill in like her address and phone number and email and all that stuff because I already have that written on her customer profile card. And as you'll see in a little bit, I'm going to staple this to the customer profile card. So I just feel like it's a waste of time for me to write it all over again. So um, those are some of the things I fill out again. And then I also, of course, do put what she bought with the amount, how much it costs. Um, I add in the 7% um, state sales tax. And, and know what it is for your state, but for Indiana it's 7%. And then I add the two together to get um, my total, I just circle it, I put my, then I sign it, and I usually do put my consultant number on here as well. Um, and then you have several carbon copies underneath. You have um, several that say customer copy on it. And so I do ask her, you know, do you want one of the, do you want a copy of your receipt? And so that if she says yes, I give that to her. And then we also have one that says beauty consultant copy. And that's a copy that I just leave in there. And when I get home, I'm going to tear that out and I'm going to um, file it um, to keep track of my sales. Now, if you accidentally give somebody the beauty consultant copy, like it's not really a big deal. Um, the point is you just want to have one copy for your customer. You want to have a copy for yourself to keep track of your sales. So um, also when I get home, I do um, put my customer profile cards um, and my sales tickets in a pile and then about once a week I go through and I upload the customer profile cards um, into, I upload them into the, um, into Mary Kay in touch and then I do staple the um, sales ticket to the customer profile card and I also like to put up here at the top I like to put how I know the, the person, and that way whenever I see that card, it kind of can ring a bell as to how I know her and who she is, and um, maybe put a face with a name, because after a while you have so many customers that you want to be able to remember them somehow. I sometimes put little notes if she has, um, you know, a, a, a child, or she's getting married soon, or something like that. I might put a little note by her name as well. But I staple the customer profile card after I've uploaded the info into in touch. I staple the customer profile card to the um, to the sales ticket, and then I file it in an A to Z box. It can be a file box, it can be a drawer, um, it can be an accordion file, whatever it is. But I just have it labeled A to Z, and then I file these. Um, file these there so that way when my customer reorders then I have it I can just go find her name um, I can see what she ordered I can she see her skin type and that kind of thing so um, I also like to keep track specifically of girls who do start on our skincare and specifically are using our miracle set velocity set um, botanical set or time wise repair set. So if they're using a set of products, I want to keep a special note of her. I just recommend maybe making a sheet of paper um, or an Excel spreadsheet or something um, that just you write down every time you have a customer who's on a set because that's someone you really want to take care of and you want to um, call her every two to three months to see if she's um, needing a reorder on that. So I like to take special care of those customers. Um, Okay, so now to the ProPay Jack. So that's, again, this nifty little thing. Um, you can order it from Mary Kay in Touch, and what this does is it allows you to process credit cards or debit cards right there at your parties using your smartphone. 
So um, first of all, ProPay, ProPay is um, what we use in Mary Kay to process the credit cards and debit cards. It costs right around $30 for a year. And that's what allows you to process the credit cards. It also allows people to order off your website and pay with their credit card. And, um, and that money goes right into your ProPay bank. You can then choose to keep the money in ProPay and use it towards your online Mary Kay product orders, or you can choose to have it transferred um, into the money that's in that um, ProPay account. You can have it transferred into your checking account. You just have to put in your bank info. So it's really, really nice. Um, and so the ProPay Jack, you can order from ProPay. You just go to Mary Kay and Touch, go to online ordering, and you'll see the ProPay link. And you can order it there, or you can get it at Seminar as well. And then you just plug it into your um, into your smartphone. You just take it and put it. In, you do need to take the um, the case off. So you take off the case. You plug it in, and um, you download the ProPay app, which is free. And you are able to just swipe cards right then and there. It saves you so much time. You don't have to come home and swipe cards when you get home. And then also it lets you know right away if the card that the card is approved. So if something would happen where the card was declined, you would know right there while you're with the customer. So it saves you a lot of time. Kind of gives you a little peace of mind. Not that that happens very often at all, but it just kind of does kind of give you the peace of mind that you know you're gonna know right then and there that it is approved. So this little pro pay jack is really great. Again, you go to Mary Kay and Touch, go to online or ordering and um, you can just order it from there. And I'm not really quite sure how much the cost is for that, but I would say whatever it is, it's completely worth it. I did get it as a special <laughs> at seminar, which you can um, you can probably get it at special too when you go to seminar. But um, but anyway, so that's a little bit about our sales tickets, how I upload our, our customer profile card information onto Mary Kate and Touch, how I use the ProPay Jack, and kind of my system when I come home from a party, like what I do with the sales tickets and the customer profile card. So I hope that helps, and just get your file boxes set up, get your system set up, and um, you'll start to really see those revenues from your reordering customers once you kind of get yourself organized. So awesome job, girls. Thanks. Bye.